and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 4 with another team adventure. This one is uh, in S1 class. Now, we don't often run uh, vehicles this fast. Uh, however, we're going to give it a try. You know, we're racing all the German cars, and I have been a little bit, I say a little bit mad. I've got the 959. Uh, I built it, I built a couple of different cars for this, and this was actually the vehicle that I liked the most by far out of all of them. I don't know how quick it is going to be. I think it's going to be fairly good. However, it's very difficult to know. And we're up against all sorts of different uh, vehicles. I mean, in S1 class, of course, you get a lot of the supercars. You get things like the R8, like the uh, Mercedes, and all of those kind of things. But you do also get some other additions. There'll be a Golf there that I imagine has got a lot of power in all-wheel drive. You get some big, heavy saloon cars uh, with all-wheel drive and an awful, awful lot of power. Christ, my grip is incredible at this. <laughs> front end of the Porsche is unbelievable. Now, it is probably not going to be the fastest car in this field. Whoop. That's going to go past there. We're going to let that go. I'm not going to fight the BMW. Uh, we've got... Oh, the Audi has got to the lead of the race. I've got more grip than the Beamers. I think I've got more grip than the Audi as well, but I've got to get past the BMW brigade. Oh, got a little help from the Merc. Well, the Merc is on our team, so <laughs> that does help us out. Oh, we are past our teammate. Let's see if the Z4... Yeah, the, the front end of the 959 is really, really good uh, on this. Um, anyway, as I say, yes, I don't have crazy amounts of power. I say that, we're still 600 of horsepower. Uh, however, you can definitely get a lot more in S1 class. We do have some pretty hefty tyres. We do have all-wheel drive. I think it's about 2,600, 2,500 pounds. So, power to weight ratio is not too bad uh, in this. The Audi made a mistake through turn one. Uh, <laughs> the Audi had a big wobble. Now, the BMW is not as good through this section. Oh, Christ, I did not expect there to be a Mercedes suddenly having a sniff. I'm really, really sorry to my teammate car that it's, uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I, by the time I realised there was a car there, I just couldn't even, I was busy dealing with the BMW ahead of me and I just didn't have time to realise, I didn't, yeah, just didn't register until I'd already hit the damn car. Uh, that's not great for us. Well, I'll say it, points-wise we are still not doing too shabby, really. Uh, I do apologise to corrupt this. Yeah, it does happen sometimes. It has happened to me. Oh, we've had another slight bounce across there. Uh, it's not been the best of... Right, come on. It's not been the best first couple of laps by me. We can definitely do better in this one. We might have slightly nudged Scotty into wall. Okay, what has more straight line speed, me or the Beamer? I don't know. Uh, we are starting to reel back in to the lead battle. I mean, the BMW are fairly evenly matched uh, in terms of straight line performance. Now, the Audi defended. Go! <laughs> We'll push our Z4 past. Uh, I don't mean it works, kind of. I know bump drafting isn't really a thing in Forza, however, it looked like it worked. It looked cool, so you know what? I'm going to take it. I feel like that is <laughs> how it should work. I mean, the poor uh, R8 has lost three places in all of that. Just from being, I mean, that was just from being out of position into turn one. It was the knock-on effect, basically. You're out of position through turn one, puts you out wide for turn two, it makes you slow, and then everybody comes firing back past. I'm starting to get the hang of this car. So I said this thing has got a very, very good front end. It is actually a little bit more lively, perhaps, than the normal sort of cars that I would drive. We're going to try and get underneath that BMW. Now, we've got to be careful here. As much as I want to fight the Z4, I also don't want to lose out to the M3. We do have a nice healthy points lead uh, at the moment, but uh, yeah, it's the how hard do you race your teammate uh, through this one. The BMW is actually now defending up here a little bit. Uh, we get a mega run. There's just so much grip in this 959. It is glorious uh, on the exit. The problem is I can get alongside on the exit. We pull clear of the M3 a little bit and then the Z4 just goes. It's got some straight line speed about it. I will give it that much. Uh, that's a little too... Oh, that's way too much speed from me. We nearly flipped it. <laughs> okay, I thought I had a little bit more grip than I actually did. Ah. Okay, that was great. That was too much braving. I should... As I should point out, I don't very often drive S1 class cars. I am quite inexperienced with this class. Uh, I used to drive a lot of S1 class rally cars. However, uh, yeah, I haven't driven that in a while. So, uh, not necessarily really the best with these... These sort of cars... So we might see a couple more little mistakes by me. That, well, that's quite a big mistake, really. Easy to do at that section, just to carry a little too much speed, get a little 
uh, carried away, and we are going to carry a lot of speed into turn one. I, like, hitting the wall on the outside is better than the alternatives, where you can sometimes make mistakes. For example, missing the checkpoint at turn one and two. Uh, that is a very easy thing to do, or getting pushed out of a checkpoint by a teammate. That's also incidentally quite easy to do, slash unfortunately be the recipient of. Uh, <laughs> we are going to be too far back, even if we get a fastest lap of the race back here. Uh, the top three certainly all look pretty evenly matched. And to be fair, the R8, up until it made a mistake, was in this fight as well. Now, there are many more tracks to go in different, uh, say, styles of circuit. Really twisty stuff, I think my Porsche is going to be very difficult to beat. The longer straights, it can come undone a little bit, and at times it does get a smidge twitchy. Just a little bit more planted would be good. However, red team, take the victory. We are going to claim a third position. Could have and probably should have been better by me. Uh, however, that's still 400 very, very valuable points. Um, the Mercedes comes home in fifth at the end of the day. Not that we're going to see fastest lap, sadly. would be interesting to know. Uh, yeah, as I said, I do apologise to the Merc. Did not mean to put that into or out of the, out of the checkpoint. However, first round goes the way of Red Team. So, up next we head to the Astmore Heritage Circuit. This one of the bigger and faster circuits in the game. We have got a full grid this time around, which is good. Yeah, there are... I mean, it's always a tricky one, it's always a funny one building cars for it. Yes, there are some long straights, you certainly need a fair amount of top speed, but the medium, medium speed, the high speed corners are... Dangerous, basically. If you have a car that's all... Admittedly, in S1 class, the chances are you're actually going to have grip. There is a very good chance you are going to have some form of grip with these. Because, well, in S1 class, you're running on race tyres, basically. Uh, there's very little reason why you would be on anything other than race tyres in this category. When doing S1 class, all tarmac, you're going to be on race tyres. You're just not going to be fast enough otherwise. Uh, oh. I say that. There might be the odd exception if you can build them well enough. Some of the classic race cars, they have funny tyres, but on the most part, 99% of cars will be running on the uh, on the race tyres. I can't remember where I was going with that sentence. I got distracted. Regardless, we've had a good start here. On red team, we've got a 1-2 uh, currently going on. I think that Merc, I think that Merc might beat me, oh god, down the straight. So we'll have to wait and see if we can kind of, yeah, measure ourselves here against that car. Might be all-wheel drive converted. Now, building cars in S1, all-wheel drive converting is probably going to be the most common. You might get away. Ooh, there's a couple of things you might get away with still being rear-wheel drive. It's not going to be necessarily the easiest of things to drive. Like, you'll get away with them being competitive lap time-wise, but you're going to have to drive it without making a mistake, and well, that's sometimes quite difficult, or it can be competitive lap time-wise. It's just easier uh, to drive the all-wheel drive cars sometimes. Uh, around here, you probably won't be doing too bad with rear-wheel drive, because there's not really any of those nasty, uh, kind of like low-speed acceleration zones for the car to be slithering and sliding around. You're kind of flat out with a lot of medium-speed corners, where you can probably just jump on the throttle anyway. Well, <laughs> if anything, I've got more oversteer in this than you would really want from an all-wheel drive car normally. Certainly more than I would like. The Merc is looking very close. It's just that, again, is the drive out of the hairpin that we can do. If I don't make any silly mistakes, I've just got to not slide the back end around. A little bit concerned about the Mercedes, of course. Now, it is a teammate. It's not going to be doing anything too stupid to try and find its way past here. There's... I say, to be fair, we're actually so far ahead of uh, third place, they might just have a go ignoring the teams because, well, we're miles clear. Which is kind of fair enough. You don't want to screw over your teammate and have a problem when you're in a like, four-car battle for the lead, but when you're miles out in front on your own, you're more like, much more likely to have a go. Uh, what have we got behind? Uh, I think it is the Z4 is fighting with the Audi. Further back, we might have a red team. Uh, one, two, three here. We'll try and slow this one down. Uh, that's much better through there. That seems to be the Achilles heel. Now, I don't know whether that's just the car or of me. I think it might be more of me, if I'm honest. I think that is just... Not uh, not being driven all that well. I cannot shake the Merc here. Mercedes is sat there. The problem the Mercedes has is I can't shake it. Mercedes can't do a damn thing about getting past me. It is closer this time around, actually. I've got to be careful. Where it seems fast is coming on to 
the back straight. It's kind of there. If you want to have a look around the outside here, my friend, go for it. Uh, that is unlikely to be a uh, preferable overtaking spot, shall we say. And now you can... Ooh, you can sometimes try and get up the inside for like the exit onto this straight, depending. It has got a good run. Is it going to be quick enough? We're going to force it the long way around here. If it wants to get this pass done, it is going to have to do it the hard way. Yep, and it's just run out of grip. <laughs> I mean, that is absolutely fair for me to do, of course. Uh, we don't have to give it the line that it wants to take. We're going to make it go an awkward way around. Try and get it to shrug off some speed. We've got one more lap to fend it off, though. Please don't be too far back. Third place is, is just too far back to do anything about this fight. We'll park it at turn one. Come on, Porsche. You can do it. Beat the much, much more modern Mercedes here. And we've got a little bit of a gap. It's not going to be quite alongside through these corners, which is good. Uh, we'll have a little lift on the way in. Get over that crest. Now, make sure we don't run out wide through here. Uh, that's the trick. Don't leave there being any gap around there. I see. I'm not sure my gear ratios are quite working. However, we have got it pretty much spot on. I didn't see other party busy, of course, minding my own driving. Didn't see what happened to the Merc, but something obviously went on as it was uh, a little further back by the time we got onto the straight. Although, no, we have hit the grass on the way there. Now, we are going to throw it back up the inside. The Mercedes is going to go underneath us here. Ah! <laughs> Just lost the back end at the critical bloody corner. Ugh. God damn it. I think the Merc was a smidge faster than me overall, to be fair. A good fun battle. A good a good fun battle indeed uh, between those two. We definitely had three very, very quick cars around that circuit. They, they did the job. Blue team got 4th, 5th and 6th. However, also 10th, 11th and 12th. So... <laughs> Overall, uh, we got quite a convincing victory. So, up next we head to the Holly Rod Park circuit. This kind of along similar lines to the Asphalt one, really. It's high speed, quite dangerous. Uh, you want a good amount of straight line speed. You want a good top end, but you've also got to be very, very aware of some of the quite nasty... Again, it's the medium speed corners and quite actually very high speed corners as well. And I think my car is quick. I've just got to not slide it. That's the thing that uh, that's the thing that's getting me in trouble with this. If things if things go wrong, uh, <laughs> you do end up sliding the car a little bit. So not a terrible spot on the grid for us. The two beamers run away off of the line a little bit better. Uh, let's see what we can do. Merc got it all wrong through there. We should. I mean, I. I think we are going to have the grip. Uh, BMW, very noisy. Yep, we're going to have the grip just to go shooting past to the outside. Oh, get turned in. Ah, we have a familiar sight behind us. <laughs> Don't say we have to do five laps to try to slow down. I say slow down, but fend off the Mercedes. Oh, there we go. Through there. Now, you don't want to hit... Oh, something's obviously gone on back there. We have a scar plate away very nicely. You don't want to hit that iron fence. The iron railings there will completely and utterly ruin your day. They suck all the momentum out of the car. Uh, while well, some, I guess, bits of street furniture uh, don't kind of slow you down all the much. It's weird. I can't quite figure out why some bits... I mean, we're going to be going to a street circuit a little bit later on where we'll probably end up seeing some more of it. But yeah, sometimes you hit street furniture and it just pings around like it's made of, well, air, foam, perhaps. Uh, sometimes you hit it and you lose all of your speed, as you might expect. You're just never quite sure what you're going to end up getting uh, when you do. That's a very big bounce through <laughs> through all of that. Now, I'm a little worried my top speed might not be good enough for this one. I feel like we had a, we had a bigger lead over that Mercedes and it's already closing in. We're going to have to be defending. And they've got a BMW coming. I'm not sure Blue Team's quite got the cars uh, at the moment. Uh, all the luck. I don't know what else might have got on further back. But uh, they do seem to be struggling a little bit with these. So we're definitely good at the first section. We've got a good amount of speed through those first corners. We just, basically, we need a twisty circuit. That's what we need in the in the 959 because as soon as we start getting onto these straights... Now, admittedly, I'm going to make a horrible hash of this one as well. Last lap around, I made a terrible job of it, although the Merc also... <laughs> don't follow my line through there. I was rubbish. <laughs> Here we go. 
Top end test. Yes, the Merc is too far back. That's good. Now, we don't quite have the same breathing space to a blue tea car. I think overall in the, in the points we do, so it doesn't matter too much. We're probably still going to fight uh, just as hard, but there is a blue team car there ready to mix it up. Should A, anything happen with the red team cars, or if it's just genuinely quick enough. It has looked fast in previous races, so we will see how it goes. Oh, come on, Porsche. This is a really nice driving car, I have got to say. Uh, never really used the 959 for anything in this game. I like the car, of course. Uh, interesting vehicle, very cool vehicle. But I've never really made a particularly good one in Forza games. In certainly the motorsport games, it tended to get screwed over by the all-wheel drive PI. Uh, some some cars just get a huge amount of sort of PI when they're not particularly quick. The 959 was one that I struggled to build. Uh, here, though, I would say it is working. Uh, oh, I think I saw... Oh, the BMW's having a... Oh, the BMW's had a massive twitch and crash. I uh, <laughs> didn't see... I think the BMW put a wheel on the grass. I think the BMW had wheels on the grass on the exit onto that start-finish straight, and that uh, caused it some grief, shall we say. That's a monstrous crash. See what, that Merc is really good through turn one. I think I've got it certainly matched for a lot of the circuit, but it is super quick at turn one. Uh, now that, I say the car is, that might be the, the driver is finding a better line. There's probably more speed in this if I was brave enough to... Uh, go for it, don't hit the wooden wooden metal fence, neither does the Merc. Oh god, don't let it be another repeat. <laughs> Let's not choke this one away. That would be... That would be bad. Oh, as I say that, we clonk the wall on the way in. Now the only plus point is we've actually got our car in a really awkward place there. Uh, in that trying to get past when I've clonked the wall at that particular juncture uh, does not... Oh, is not easy. Now we put a wheel on the dirt, I'm not all that worried. Uh, okay, my tyres aren't great, but the car has been pretty stable across the dirt. Yeah, it's on race tyres and race suspension, as, he's, as I said, probably everything here, but uh, it is mm, pretty well composed. Here we go, one more lap uh, around this circuit, and I know we're weak through turn one. I carried as much speed as I dare through that. We're good through here. Where is the Merc going to find us? I mean, the final corner... It's the final quarter and the run to the finish line is what I'm most concerned about because it is a little bit quicker. We've got to make up our time here. We're pulling a little bit of a margin. Don't do anything stupid through here. Don't hit the railings. This time around we are good, as is the Mercedes. <laughs> we are miles clear of the rest of the pack. Our cars are seriously bloody fast around here. Uh, right. We can... Well, we bump the inside wall. That's not too bad. I don't really lose all that much. We lose a little tiny fraction of our lap time. It's kind of fractions of a tenth. Nothing too awful. Uh, now, we've got to get this final quarter right. It's very, very critical. The Merc ran a smidge wide, but no wider than I did, really. It's just a drag race now. Am I far enough away? <laughs> I mean, we can kind of block it. Well, so we can block it, we can defend it. We will beat it just. Ooh, and the game didn't give it. We ignore that. Uh, <laughs> we did beat the Mercedes in that one. Just, that, again, we were pushed hard for that win, we had to really, really work for that. The M4, uh, sorry, I might be called M3 earlier. He said M4 uh, is in third after a very, very big spin. That would beat the R8. Then we have our Z4 and RS6, and then one of our M3s uh, in that one. Is already, is already M3. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of BMWs, they all look the bloody same. Regardless, red team, claim a victory. I claim a victory for the Porsche. Ignore what the game says, because it's wrong. And there we go. It's something. So, we head next to Bamborough, the coast circuit. We'll play host to these very, very quick machines. I am... It's probably only fair I'm down the back. We've had some very, very kind spots on the grid, so we are going to have a lot of work to be doing. Uh, <laughs> the Mercedes is a little bit ahead of us. Uh, this track might work for me. Uh, it's a funny one. It's a funny one. This has generally been a little bit more of a power car circuit. Uh, it's the start finish straight has been so. Uh, I, I say I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those that I thought was initially quite a balanced track, but the more we've driven it, the more it has looked as if it has become quite the uh, power car circuit. Or if a power car is going to work, here is one of the oh, places where it is properly going to work. Um, regardless, we are going to find out what we can do. That it isn't all straights. That's the thing with this one. It isn't all straights. Yes. 
this straight here that's coming up uphill is quite nice to have that straight line speed advantage. Yes, the start finish straight is very nice to have the straight line speed advantage down towards turn one, but you do have some very slow corners, and that is where I think the 959 is going to excel. BMW just doesn't have an answer to the grip of the Porsche. Now, the Z4 might be pretty quick here. Uh, <laughs> that, that was... That was a very quick at the first race, exploiting its straight line speed. It's not buried in traffic this time around, so we may well expect to see that go pretty damn quickly. Uh, now, can we join this group? Can I do anything? If they fight each other enough, then probably. Uh, we didn't have as good a start to the race as I might have wanted to have. In fact, we're still having a little bit of problems as well. Uh, we're maybe slightly overdriving the car. Uh, we're going to have a dive up the inside of our teammate, who I don't know whether they left the door open intentionally or just misjudged the corner. Either way, <laughs> we got past. Minimal time lost. Uh, now we can go off chasing after the top four, uh, which is an interesting mix. I believe Scotty's BMW is rear-wheel drive. Judging by how it got off the line, I'm going to hazard a guess. That thing may well be rear-wheel drive, which is, I say is, is brave. It can work. It, it certainly can work. It is shifting around this track. Either it's rear-wheel drive or it's got a really iffy gearbox or something funky with the launch, I would suspect. Rear-wheel drive. It's certainly not going slowly uh, around this track. Oh, come on, Porsche. <laughs> We've got to make the most of these corners. That's... Don't hit the kerb, though. It does not like that kerb on the end. Not a lot of cars do, but it, this one really, really doesn't. Got to really make the most up through the corners. I know I can't match some of these cars on the straight. But the R8, I think I'm pretty even with. The Merc's quicker. The Z8... Z4, sorry, is much quicker. It is a Z4. And the M4, I think, is quite similar. Uh, maybe the Audi is a little far. Not by much, but maybe just a little bit faster. Uh, I guess that might be my lack of... I think it's lack of power. It's only a slight lack of power in this field. It's weird to talk about uh, a 959 with 600-odd horsepower as being down on power. But that's... This particular field it kind of is, and we've really, really gapped sixth place and back. This lot have we've completely run away. Uh, can I? Oh, we might be able to get past the Audi here. It hit the curb. It lost a bunch of speed. That'll be a fourth place for. Oh God, for me. BMWs still having their tussle up at the front now. If they slow each other down, there's a chance that I can catch. However, in outright pace, I don't think I can. In fact, the Merc has got past as well. Uh, we are not quite matching them for speed at the moment, which is a problem. We need more of these. <laughs> we need more of the really fiddly bits. Uh, I mean, as they thought they've slowed down a little, it's not quite going to be enough. Will that Z4 be quick enough to get past before turn one? It can certainly shift. Uh, the M4 looks like it's having to defend. I mean, if, they, if all three of them start fighting, this could be a wonderful opportunity for a sneaky Porsche to... <laughs> Join in the fun, shall we say. We might even get the R8 back in the fray if they really, really... I mean, it'd have to be some really serious fighting for that one to happen. Uh, but it doesn't take long, although we've only got... This is the final lap. Never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, a few more laps of this and maybe... I think a few more laps. I think we'd see the Mercedes pass before it got to the point where I caught up. You never know, but uh, I suspect that would be what would, what would happen. Oh, I've driven that in way too deep through there. I'm thankful that the R8 is a little too far back for any of this. Yeah, <laughs> we've got clear of the R8. We're kind of close. We may be just a tenth or two down on the cars ahead. Uh, are we going to see BMW hold off that Merc towards the finish line? I'm not sure. I, we'll see We'll see what the game records. Now, I don't know whether there was some uh, messing around um, with the finishing position there. I don't know whether the <laughs> I don't know whether the Merc genuinely outrun the M4 to the line or whether the 4s have forgot how to count again. It's very difficult to know. It's very difficult to know indeed. Another solid result for the 959 at least. Red team take another victory. So finally we do head to a relatively small, tight and twisty circuit. This is the Prince's Street Garden circuit. I actually have a good spot on the grid. I don't stand a half decent chance around this track. There's a lot of low speed corners, sort of low speed acceleration zone bits. This should be good for the 959. My only concern is I might be a little twitchy. 
might struggle to get the car through some of these corners or I might end up start sliding the car around. That's the bit that I've really, really got to watch out for. Uh, we will see what happens. Uh, Ah, the Z4 might be rear-wheel drive as well. That would explain how it's got so much power. Uh, <laughs> that, probably not going to like this circuit then. Uh, this circuit, you very... I say you're very much going to want all-wheel drive. Uh, it's easier to be a lot more aggressive with an all-wheel drive car. Oh, around here. I actually made a little bit of a mess of that as we had to come out of ghost mode. We've already got the Mercedes up behind us. Uh, we're going to go around the outside of the uh, E-Class, I think it is. That will put us to the lead. Are we going to have another battle against that AMG? <laughs> I don't know. It looks like it's going to go... Looks like it's going to go that way. That AMG is bloody fast. I will give it that. Uh, right. We are through. Where is the rest? Where are the other fearsome cars in this one? The Z4 I don't think is going to work. The M4 might work, but it might also struggle out of the really, really tight corners. Oh, okay. The Merc missed a checkpoint. Or it hit the stairs on the outside of... Uh, one of those fast corners and got stopped dead. That does sometimes happen as well. You know, it's possible. Uh, right. We are going to head up to the hairpin corner. Big two-wheel moment. Uh, now, will the R8... Well, the R8 is actually busy fighting with the M4 at the moment. They're going to do their own thing. I don't think they're going to have an answer for this. I think... If I don't do anything stupid, which, let's face it, we have done quite a lot of, I think the 959 should probably be good for this. As far as S1 class goes, mm, I, I've had some half-decent cars uh, work in this one. Uh, most, of the, most of the S1 class cars I have that work are vehicles from the Rally Build series that turned out to actually not be all that terrible, really, when run in normal conditions. Uh, okay, sure, for a tarmac-only event, you are going to run tyres slightly differently. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pleased with this. I'm pleased with this. I tried building I have an M3 GTR, a Z3M, a couple of other cars as well, for this particular event, and I could not get them to work. I couldn't certainly get them to work anywhere near like this Porsche. Both of them, both of them particular ones, incredibly understeer. I can't the other things I built now. But uh, they were very, very understeery, and this, for... An all-wheel drive car is just not that. It's not that at all. The front end's fantastic, and the, it's it's such a good amount of front end grip that it catches me out sometimes when it's sliding around. Uh, we've not had a great race for Red Team in terms of checkpoints, it would seem. We have rather played uh, how many checkpoints can we miss, I think, anyway. <laughs> it's, it's not gone great. It's not gone great for them. Uh, we have got the Mercedes has climbed its way back up to fifth, which suggests just how ridiculously fast that car probably is around here. The M4 has got itself to second. Uh, it is a little bit further back. Uh, it's losing a little bit of time a lap. It's probably one of those annoying things where you're not losing crazy... You know, I'm not completely vanishing off into the distance, but you're losing two or three tenths a lap. And there's nothing you can do about it. You try to drive fast, you end up overdriving the car or something silly and you just can't catch it. All you can just sit there and do, and I've been there plenty of times, you just sit and watch the car ahead vanish off into the distance. Uh, we are currently going to win by 50 points, which is... Uh, oh, well, we were. Uh, no, we still are. I don't know how. <laughs> oh, because we got so... Okay, right, so... Uh, we had one of our cars drop down, but one of our other ones has gained a couple of places from further back. Well, that's nice. That's... That's nice indeed. Um, okay, we're all good. <laughs> we are marching... Well, I say we're not marching away from the beamer behind. Just going to not really do anything all that stupid. Although we have lost... We've lost in game... We're losing and gaining positions in the mid-pack quite regularly at the moment. There's probably a lot of... Well, battling going on there. Uh, in fact, actually, it's all the way... Uh, there's split up... <laughs> This race is in about three different groups at the moment. I don't quite know how that's happened, whether it's a group missing a checkpoint. I mean, we're almost lapping. Well, not quite lapping, but we're not that far behind one of the groups of cars, which would suggest maybe a lot of missed checkpoints. Maybe someone on the inside, like, hit a wall, bounced out, and carted a whole load of cars away from I don't know where you'd do that, but maybe. I don't know. Certainly the top four are long clear. I think that Mercedes would, would have given me a lot of grief around this circuit, I have no doubt. Uh, whether we could have held it off, I think perhaps. Uh, as I said, this is probably the circuit that is best suited to my car. Uh, 
out of all the ones that we have run has been good. Although, I've also <laughs> been at a relatively comfortable lead. I also haven't had to quite drive the car as crazy hard as you might do elsewhere. And we haven't had a very good final lap. Doesn't really matter. It's good enough. It's good enough for us to take our first official victory in this one. Finally, thank you, game, for at least allowing me this little victory. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to claim the other one. I like the 959. S1 class is always tougher for racing. These have been pretty good, I have to say. The field was quite spread out, although at least I did have some fun battling between me and various other cars, even if I managed to explore and visit quite a lot of the walls along the way, which was a little bit of a pain. But, you know, it happens. Uh, I like the 959, though. Fun car to drive. Would recommend, as far as S1 class cars go. Uh, it is a little bit loose for me in terms of handling, but we'll probably most people will probably like it because most people don't like how my cars tend to drive. But there we go. That is going to be it for this video. If you'd like to sign up and take part in the next one, you can via our forums. There will be a link in the description. Find the Faris versus the community section, and you can sign up in there. That though is going to be it from me. Until next time. Uh, yeah, goodbye.